What's going on fellas? Today the time has come to update to the new versions. A new Soul 2.2.6 has landed. It's currently on race department and a new Pure has been released as well by Peter Bowles 0.154. So I'm currently on 2.2.5 Soul and of course I have the 148. So I'm going to guide you today, literally step by step, I'm going to show you how to install both of these versions, the new Soul or the new pure if you decide to uh, get it so now we'll get to this to the pure but first we're gonna start with soul so just before we go ahead and download it a lot of you fellas ask me how can I get a race department account you can see here so it's very simple let me go to the incognito tab then you go here you click registered you scroll to the bottom you ignore all these promotions here the last thing they want is just to make you pay and so on. Of course, they have to make their bread, you know. And down on the bottom, you will see join with a basic account here. Then you click here and there you go. You can now create your account or you can register by using one of these following thingies. Google, Discord, Twitter, Microsoft. Anyways, let's get this out of the way. Once you've got an account, you go here, you click download. Uh, nowadays, Peter Bowles has decided to run this by having the PDF file. So on the PDF, you can see the links right here. You click on one of the links. If Mega is faster for you than Mega, I use Mega. So I've already downloaded this file right here. So we're going to close this, going to minimize this. And now very important thing, fellas, do not drag and drop neither soul, neither pure. Remember this, I'll go to the updates later of basically what is the change log and what comes with them. So my first instruction is forget about drag and drop. We're going to go ahead here. You need to open a set of course of folder. And now let me show you a few tips and tricks. A lot of you had problems. I don't have the so install, but first what we have to do is step number one. We need to uninstall the older version of so. How we do this is by running this so install bat. So I'm going to run this and it's going to ask me, do you want to co delete your soul config files too? I, I don't want to delete my config files because they have already made some settings and so on. So now my soul is deleted. But a lot, a lot of you said, I don't have the soul uninstall, but what should I do? You can do a very, very high Q trick, fellas. <laughs> Let me show you. Go here and you see, there you go. The same script. This is nothing but a batch file that just runs the script and deletes all the files from the version of Soul that you have. So what you can do is, you can literally use this file, drag and drop it here, and now you have this file, of course, if you don't have it, it will not ask you to replace. So once you have the, the Soul and install bat, then you, you do absolutely the same, you just launch it, so you can see it right here where well, you got lost for a moment. So you launch it again, then you press no because you don't want to remove your settings. And there you go. Now, once this is out of the way and I showed you how to completely uninstall your soul, the way to install the new soul is basically grabbing all these files and drag and dropping them right here, fellas, on the empty space. Do not drag and drop them over the folders. I've seen a lot of people complain. I've done literally everything you did and I don't have so in my weather effects. No, you didn't do exactly what I did. I drop it in the empty space. If you drop it here, it's going to go in the folders. So trust daddy. Listen to big papa. You'll be fine, fellas. going to wait a bit. I'm going to ask for a place. Boom. Replace. There we go. Then we're going to go over the change log later on the video. Now, we're going to go con to content manager and we're going to go to settings. Then we go to custom shader patch and you want to scroll down and find weather effects. It's down in the bottom, fellas. It's easy to find. Now, what comes with the soul? With the soul comes a way better new soul 2.4 controller script that will support the new CSP 0180. The new CSP 180, preview 115, and just the, the preview versions for 150, you know. And uh, now let's see. So we got the controller. Everything seems fine installed here. Let's see if we have the new soul. There you go. We have the new soul, and you can see that I'm still currently on the older version of Pure. So 
Uh, we've selected these, everything is fine. How do, let me show you fellas. Now, once you've selected the controller script and the weather script and everything seems fine, what you have to do is you wanna go to a set of courser right here. You go to apps, applications, and you want to make sure Soul Planner, Soul Weather app, Soul Config, and Soul Custom Weather are enabled. And of course, to have uh, enabled Python apps. Once this is out of the way, that means your soul is absolutely perfect. It's ready to go. So that's that. Now we're going to go over to pure. Let's say uh, you want to get pure fellas. The new version of pure, you have to become a patron of Peter Balls. It will cost you a uh, euro or if you want, you can uh, sub uh, you can get, you can donate more and uh, subscribe to him just uh, to support his work. Now, once we've got this, I'm not going to open this. Just I don't want to spoil the links and so on. Once we download the new pure fellas, which will be right here. You can see I have it on the desktop. What we do is you want to go to either the mods folder where usually my, I show in my guides, then you have this pure one for a, then you go open this folder and you go and find this file right here, uninstall pure bat. Then what you do, you open an install pure bat. It's going to ask me now, which is a bit idiotic. That's because uh, I don't have uh, it in the mods folder. But no worries, fellas. We're gonna go. So we're gonna go to games. It will take me some time to find it. Steam, Steam apps. Come on, Cero Corsa. Boom. There you go. Selected the folder. It run. It deleted everything. Deleted the PP filters, the weather scripts, the settings, and the sky domes and applications. Press any key. Now I know that my pure is gone. So once we've deleted the older version, we want to open the new pure. And now we're going to open this folder as well. And what you want to do, fellas, is you can see there's no longer mods folder because everyone was asking, what is this mods folder and so on. Guys, you, you can literally just create the folder. You need to start to think out of the box. You create the mods folder is because a lot of the apps were looking for this mods folder. So you don't paste the files here. But anyways, you can even see Peter Bowles has simplified it for you. No worries. Grab all these files right here. And again, I forgot to mention, if you say, let's say that you mention, oh, I don't have an install pure bat. You can do the same trick as the soul. Grab this, drop it here and run it. Absolutely the same trick, fellas. There's nothing complicated. It's just troubleshooting, you know, think outside of the box. Grab all these files. Again, we're going to place them right here on the side. So we're going to wait a bit. It's going to ask us probably to replace something because I have the install pure bat and so on. So no... No problems. Wait a bit. It's moving. Boom. Replace. It asks you to replace your place. Wait a bit. There we go. All right. Now, what we do is we go right here onto Content Manager. Go to Settings. I'm already on the latest uh, CSP, so we don't care about the CSP. This is about so on pure. So we go to Custom Shader Patch. And, of course, uh, same. Make sure, of course, the soul config and all the soul apps are enabled you definitely need them anyways for the soul planner and the scripts everything to run after this again we go to weather effects and we're gonna check do we have the new controller script yes we have soul 2.4 by peter Bowles. do we have the new pure there we go pure 0 0.154 this is the new pure script make sure to select it and now we probably even have, let me check real quick. We probably even have the new pure scripts. There you go. Pure candy, pure, pure candy, pure HDR, pure linear, and uh, all everything literally that you need. So let's select pure candy, for example. So once this is out of the way, fellas, let's go in the game. And I want to show you now. All right, fellas, we're into the game. So let me show you real quick how to enable pure. And we're going to go over some of the... Soul Planner presets for scattered broken clouds and so on, so you can see how it looks. So we're gonna go ahead and find pure config. So pure config, it will usually be either here on all apps or either here on pure config. So now what we want to do. Now we're gonna go to clouds and for me it's already turned on, but for you it will be zero. So if it's zero, you wanna turn on these sky domes so you want to make it one 
and you want to click save. Of course, the, we're already using the high res, so even if you use this uh, very high cloud settings, it's not going to make uh, any difference. So even if you click like this and save, it's not going to make. So anyways, that out of the way, something very cool, fellas, that you can do is if you use pure candy, at the moment I'm using pure CS, this is new pure PP filter uh, from one fella, I'm definitely going to uh, review it. So you see it's a bit, a bit blurry because I'm using a reshape preset that's not running very well on my screen. But if we go and run Pure Candy, for example that's included one of the PP filters, we can go and also his PP filter had this, we can use the candy filter to, it's like an exposure, right? So you can slide it here, a bit brighter, darker, you know, you can adjust it to your liking. Anyways. So that out of the way, I'm gonna go back to uh, pure CS, boom, and now fellas, we're gonna test the new Soul Planner. So now you can see we're on clear, so I'm gonna go actually to sunset, and uh, I wanna see how it looks. So we're gonna go to uh, broken clouds. So let's do broken clouds and see how it goes. You see the sun. So it's going down it's fabulous man it's absolutely amazing let me use the free camera i'm gonna press f7 look at this fellas holy cow let me remove the track map apologies for that but this is this is freaking amazing i'm telling you look at this the track is union island the track is union island fellas definitely all the links will be in the description so feel free to check it out if you're interested in this car this is our new car made by darkest so we have sds livery exotic liveries whatever you can see very cool now let's test another one gonna go ahead and we're gonna test scatter clouds and you can see with scatter clouds just, I mean, guys, isn't this amazing? Look, it, it just looks absolute killer. And the last thing that I want to do is probably going to test the heavy thunderstorm. Holy cow. Did, okay, that's that's very loud. Give me a second. Let me stop the... Should I stop the sounds, fellas? Whoa. This is loud as hell. I'm even lagging. So... See, fellas, this is the heavy thunderstorm. We have rain. We can turn it on maximum. Give me a second. So this is with wet mod, with rain effects, with everything. This is how it kind of gets. Now, super quick on the changes, fellas. There's not much. It's just new stuff. Basically, new Soul Planner app 3.8 and a new Soul Controller 2.42. They will both support the new recent CSP rain effects changes that were applied. You, if you remember from our previous guide, the tire changes uh, for how the physics work, that uh, the puddles changes and the wetness that is applied. Now, they will both support this and uh, it will be awesome honestly so the new suit planner takes care of uh, all the the problems that were with the scalings of the wetness and the puddles you remember the rain and so on feel free to go and watch the previous video about the new csp 180 preview 115 so if you barely have control with the car with the new csp update lower the wetness generation in low in soul planner with the difficulty slider this will help you out fellas so let's check out now the change log for the pure. Now onto the new changes, fellas, for pure 0 0.154. Peter Bowles was able to call the much better determination of the best exposure for specific like situation. And he also uh, shared the clip. The video link will be down in the description if you want to see that. So you can check his video out. So basically, you see a very good usage of the dynamic range while having good visibility. So basically now the new pure script will be able to determine... Uh, the best exposure, I guess, or better, the you will have a better judgment for the exposure while you're driving to different places and so on. For of course, like he said, for a different specific like situation. 
So the stability of the exposure was improved too. So that's that basically for the change log. And a quick shout out to all my supporters guys, thank you very much for boosting the server to keeping it on level 3, it really helps me out, I'm putting even more effort nowadays, it's like a full time job to keep the discord, it's so many stuff that I'm implementing, uh, even a new modder has joined us, Darkest is making our car pack, everything is going like flying like crazy behind the scenes, it's a lot of stuff coming. Thanks to uh, BLZZXD for being my top supporter. Thank you very much, bro. He just joined the YouTube membership. I've just released new YouTube membership, fellas. Feel free to check it out if you want to support me. I'm not greedy. I've put the lowest prices as possible. I still haven't uh, been paid for any of the videos that I made so far for all the guides. And more guides are coming. Very soon I'll launch my Patreon as well. So keep watching for that. We'll have a mods launch there. I'll be posting the mods and stuff. Also, uh, with the YouTube membership and some of the Patreon plans, there is drift coaching and so on, and uh, even street cut up racing uh, coaching. So feel free to check that out. Uh, when you click on there, you'll be able to see all the goodies and all the good stuff that you see, like special chats, access to new mods, beta testing, whatever you see, everything. So for now, fellas, that's that for the guide. I hope this helped you. If you need further help, feel free to jump in our Discord. You're always welcome to our friendly community. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Leave me your feedback. Did this help you? Uh, do you like the guide? And uh, so on. So for now, fellas, stay safe out there. We show the best. Like, subscribe. Really helps me out. I will see you, fellas, in the next video.